Yo, what's going on today, guys? It's your boy Uchi, and um, back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? So, Loxton had created a Pokemon Theory MV playing God teaser video. Now, if you guys did not already watch his, I believe it was 2.5 or it was two point, part 2 of the reset theory, you could watch it right here. He had a teaser at the end kind of like an after credits post credits things but it was like an ending theme to his video but at the same time it was also teasing at what's to come in part three now he's kind of been dropping hints and teases in a lot of his videos that he's been released releasing since then i'm hoping i see some new teases that i haven't seen before but if you've already missed my reaction videos to his reset theory parts you can obviously check them out on my channel and i did mention at the end of one of them that i'm pretty sure and this is going along the whole theory is that obviously this whole playing god thing someone is trying to basically become arceus that is the whole playing god type thing to achieve that you know that all that power to reset the world or do whatever they want with it as loxon has been saying to us so without a further ado let's react <laughs> Man, where are my damn headphones? Ah, got them. Okay, guys, here we go. Bam. All right, so, so far, it's the same. Because I recognize a lot of this stuff already. Okay, so, gets this. Yep. Yep. That's it. Okay, here's some new stuff right here. All that was... Well, most of it was basically the same. Alright, here we go. It was just the extended version? I like it. Yes. This is new. Wow, the power that's inside. Yep. Multiverse. In the world Brutality. Reflection. He's referencing the clones? Oh my god. That was actually in the one of the latest episodes of Pokemon XYZ. He, he, ma he mentioned that on his Twitter. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. There we go. I'm telling you, I said, I feel like it's, I, I'm saying it's the same thing. Me and Loxton, man, we're here. We're here. Oh, the red Zygarde. Y'all saw that? You know what? I just thought of something. Huh? Another N? It is finished when the seven become one. That's right. There it is. That is what the goal is. That's what the goal is right there. One of the main things that I haven't said already in any of my other videos that I want to go over now is just that I now have another way to interpret all of this. Just by watching everything and watching this trailer. Let's say that the one chick from the Ether Foundation that is now being rumored or speculated to be the ubi2 beauty form and then we have lily being speculated to be the first ubi1 form this portal stuff this multiverse all this has to be taken with a huge grain of salt obviously because this is all 
a rumor and this is just based off of everything that Loxon has basically put together for us to kind of interpret on our own but again we have to realize that this is a theory now here's my theory what if they're not actually the new ubi one and ubi two what if they're actually themselves but in a parallel universe in an in this multiverse the rumor right now the speculation is that these two forms are basically attempted experiments at becoming pokemon or whatever or becoming chimera or whatever but what if it's actually that you have people that are represented as a pokemon in another realm and this would also go alongside with this whole portal thing i mean it kind of makes sense if you think about it. I mean, we see a lot of portal things being used in this in this AMV, which, by the way, Loxin, great job. You know, you definitely know how to make a good opening, ending, trailer, whatever. That is my type of interpretation, if you will, when it comes down to this whole thing. Yeah, it's just another way to think about it. You know, take it with a grain of salt. If you guys want to kind of talk about talk more about it, please let me know how you feel about what I think about that whole thing. Because yeah, I mean. Who's to say they're not just the, the, the clones or... I mean, that's another thing. He mentioned, he references clones. Okay, so he's definitely going to mention the cloning. May Yo, and then and now I'm thinking about it. It's like he keeps showing wings. Basically kind of hinting at they died or something happened to them and they were brought back. So what if they're clones too? What if they tried to do this and then, you know... I Oh, the... Okay, I need to stop. This video needs to end before I go crazy on freaking screen. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. Please, let's talk about this. You can hit me up on Twitter too, at Uchi Games, and we can further this discussion. So, let me know what you guys think about my alternate interpretation of all of the Ultra Beasts and the rumored, speculated counterparts to those Ultra Beasts. I'll catch y'all guys later.